So Kevin, we have just, uh, you know, come off uh, here in episode five, really seeing Poto come alive as a fighter, as someone who mm. will defend his family. Um, you know, he's quite the rock to kind of assure them of, of some safety. And, and I think they've always known this about him, but now they've seen it in mm. action. Yeah. And yet they're still experiencing some heartbreak. You know, they're having to flee. Yeah. Uh, leaving their homes, this kind of thing. Yeah. Um, talk about, you know, playing these kind of roles where um, there's big peril, there's emotional consequences, there's, um, you know, kind of weight to these stories. Well, they're my favorite stories, you know, uh, big stories. I'm a, I'm a fan of uh, genre fiction in general, you know, I like sci-fi and horror and all that sort of stuff. So in all of these things, there's always, a, by the nature of them, there are massive things at stake. And of course, one of the other things that uh, took my eye when I was reading Podo was that from being an old guy, you know, an old working guy, you suddenly realize that he's also a force to be reckoned with. You know, I mean, he's a he's a real fighter. And um, I, it was lovely to um, watch uh, some of the completed animation of the fight scenes because I'd had those those sort of pencil drawings which sort of give you a rough idea of what you're doing and how you're moving. But when you see what he's actually doing, it's quite extraordinary. Uh, you know, he's he's good with a sword. He's not so good with a bow. But um, he's, uh, yeah, he's he's an amazing fighter. And we're going to see a lot more of that as, as time goes on in the story. First to sleep, dark glory in the dark.